Single-celled organisms have a large surface area to volume ratio, so they can attain all gas exchange and minerals and etc. through diffusion alone. It's because they have a thin diffusion pathway and a large surface area to volume ratio. Insects are terrestrial animals, they live on land, and a problem for all terrestrial animals are that, is that water easily evaporates from the surface of their bodies and therefore they can become dehydrated. They usually show two features, a waterproof coverings which, which insects have in their exoskeleton and a small surface area to volume ratio, which an ant sort of has in comparison to say an amoeba, an amoeba or something. As one of the byproducts of respiration is water, there needs to be some sort of compromise between gas exchange and and water loss. And also, because there's waterproof coverings, it's not permeable to the gas exchange by diffusion, so there needs to be a network, a system, or yeah, system for gas exchange to occur. In insect, this is a a tracheal system. In a tracheal system, all gases are exchanged via diffusion through a series of tubes called trachea. There's trachea and tracheals. It all operates on diffusion. As, as oxygen has a less concentration in respiring tissues, there is a concentration from the air down to the respiring tissues. So oxygen moves down into the muscle and other cells via diffusion. Carbon dioxide is produced in respiration as well, so there is a concentration gradient between the respiring tissue and the outside world. So carbon dioxide is sent out the trick. Spiracles are pores that can be opened and closed on the insect's body that prevent excess water from being evaporated in respira from respiration. They work on rhythmic body movements and can open and close like so. When they're closed, water doesn't escape, and when they when they open, water does ex escape. Now they need a there is a conflicting need because for between saving water and ga efficient gas exchange. Because when the when they're closed, gas can't get in or out. Therefore, the concentration of of carbon dioxide can build up and possibly even form an equilibrium and the same with oxygen which prevents gas exchange. So there needs to be a method of opening and closing. This can be related to the level of carbon dioxide in the trachea. The valves open when it reaches a certain value and then gases can diffuse in and out of the tracheal system. The system doesn't just rely on diffusion for gas exchange, it also relies on ventilation, which is when the muscles in the insect create mass movement of, of air in and out of the trachea. This speeds up the process of gas exchange.